Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend Patrick here. I haven't done one of these ranting videos in a while, so I thought I'd rant about uh, my new neighborhood that I live in. So I live in Toco Hill now, which is the uh, Orthodox neighborhood. And, uh, you know, insert comedic moment because that's pretty much what it's been nonstop. Um, oh, in case you're wondering, I'm here at Hub Atlanta. You should really check it out. Hub Atlanta, Hub Atlanta, Hub Atlanta. Great people. Um, anyway, so I just moved to the Orthodox neighborhood because we're launching a pilot program for One Shoal Atlanta. The link is below. You can check that out. And so all kinds of interesting things have happened to me so far. Okay, so why did I move to the From neighborhood? Okay, number one, cheap rent. Shockingly cheap rent, actually. To still be inside the perimeter, have a two-bedroom apartment with like a sunroom and all kinds of other crazy adult things and uh, pay less than a thousand bucks, and it's really, really cool. We were gonna, me and my girlfriend, we were gonna move to uh, East Atlanta, like 700 square foot apartment for the same price, and then you gotta deal with people shooting you. I mean, it's just like not even worth it, right? Like, and that's the other thing, okay? To all my friends who think that I'm a, like a sellout because I'm not living in Little Five Points or East Atlanta or Grant Park, Let's just think of it this way. It's the difference between gang members trying to kill me or people trying to fundraise for their synagogue, like approaching me in the grocery store. Like, compare, contrast, people. Compare, contrast. What do you think is going to be better? So anyway, so that's why we live in the Orthodox neighborhood. And uh, But, okay, so that's all the good stuff. Some bad stuff about living in the Orthodox neighborhood. Um, I can't really think of anything. That's the problem. Like, it's actually a pretty cool place to live. Okay, no, but this is funny, though. Okay, so... When I lived in East Atlanta and when I lived in Little Five Points, people would stare at me because I had a yarmulke on, okay? Now I live in the Orthodox neighborhood and people stare at me because I have tattoos. And that's fundamentally the difference in my life change. It's really, it's like one thing for another, but either way, someone has to stare at me. So that's that. Um, young yeshiva boys get freaked out when I wear uh, white shirts and black pants and they see the tattoos because they think that I'm Chabad and then they see the tattoos, they're like, that's cognitive dissonance, that doesn't work well for them. Uh, what other exciting things? Oh, here's something I want to talk about. From careers, okay? So I'm at the Toco Hills Kroger, and I'm getting a sandwich. I get, I get to eat meat once a week. My girlfriend's a vegetarian. I go to the Kroger grocery store, I get a roast beef sandwich, and that costs me six bucks, which is actually really good for kosher food, because um, it should be like 13 or something crazy like that. Um, but anyway, so the guy who makes my sandwich is a rabbi. Like, he's got his name, like, on a plaque and stuff right there that, like, he watches over the food and he's a rabbi and all that. I started thinking about, like, in progressive Judaism, if you were a rabbi and you worked at the deli at Kroger, like, it would be seen as though, like, you had really sort of uh, failed at life. But, like, this is a really good job because, like, someone has to watch the food. I really appreciate this guy watches the food. And he makes a good sandwich. Although... Funny thing about getting food in from places is that you're so, in the from communities, you're so into this idea of like receiving food. It's this very sort of schliock thing of like you order your food and it's shipped to you. So I order my sandwich today, right? And so I get banana peppers and I get uh, lettuce and mayonnaise and whatever. I asked the guy for onions. He said, we don't have any onions. They didn't come in. I started thinking about it. I'm like, this is a grocery store. What are you telling me you don't have onions? You just, look, I'll walk over there and I'll get you an onion to slice for me. So I have onions on my sandwich. But he's like, no, we don't have onions. They didn't come in. I'm like, where do you expect them to come in from? Do you like ship your onions from Israel because they're like that much better? I mean, it's just freaking ridiculous. Anyway, um, that's just a silly rant. Okay, so that's kind of a negative thing about um, living in Toco Hill. Funny thing about Toco Hill, Saturday night, let's say Shabbos, you walk around like around 10.30 at night around um, the parking lots of some of these strip malls. Gangs of young Orthodox teenagers wandering around on their iPhones. It's the coolest thing ever. It's a total sausage fest. You never see like young girls because, you know, you don't want the mingling of the sexes with the iPhones. They might be sexting. Who knows what they're doing? Um, but uh, I love these little like yeshiva gangs that kind of wander around. Um, they mix well with the Emory kids that you see wandering around as well. It's very like, um, you know, West Side Story, you know, uh, Tigers versus Sharks or whatever the, the two gangs were. Um, okay, what other funny things have happened since I moved to Toko Hill? Uh, I think that's probably the most important stuff. Oh, no, here's a good one. So <clears throat> houses, okay, this apartment was cheap, but houses are expensive as hell because it's basically 
inelastic demand. That's something I learned when I was in community college uh, economics class. Inelastic demand. Look it up. So you have all these people, concentrated area, the price of everything goes up. So if you want a house, you got to pay like three fifty, four hundred thousand dollars. And we're like talking these tiny little four-sided brick things that like they built to defeat the communists. It's basically one of these like Levitt Town kind of things. And uh, yeah, so. Small houses, they cost tons of money. So I'm looking around, I'm driving around, and I see a house. It's just, oh, it's the bomb. It's awesome. This place is great. It's beautiful, super contemporary, and all the Bobo stuff that I'm into. And uh, so, of course, I call up the real estate agent. I'm like, hey, how much is your place? He's like, oh, it's five bedrooms, four bath, huge kitchen, blah, 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 and it's only 550000 And I'm like, wow, what a steal. So yeah, that's um, that's another lame thing. So then he's like, "Well, ask me, like, how much do you want to spend?" I'm like, "Well, under two hundred thousand." Silence. I mean, he must have thought it was like a prank phone call or something like that. He's like, "Well, you can't get that in Toco Hill. You gotta, you might need a condo instead." And so you know, we're looking at a condo. Um, yeah. So that's everything I have to say about Toco Hill. I love you, but uh, yeah, you're also kind of funny at the same time. <laughs>